Hi, this is Laura Park with PrivateScubaLessons.com. I'm America's best scuba expert, and I'm filming today live from my backyard on beautiful Biscayne Bay. It's a gorgeous day out, so you might hear some boats in the background, and uh, we just can't help that because well, Florida is the boating capital of the world. So today, we're going to talk about fin selection. What type of fins do I select? Quickly, I'm going to go over the four different, three different types of fins. And there's all variations of these. But there's the first, there's the full foot pocket, where you don't need any booties to wear. You slip your bare foot in here if you're comfortable with that. They also come in different colors, and this is a different style. This happens to be my personal fin, my very favorite, and I'll tell you in just a minute. Uh, all fins have different flexibility ranges, and that's something else that you're going to consider. We have the full foot pocket, okay, and these are the fins that you do wear a booty fin with, and, or I should say, just a booty that's neoprene that keeps your feet warm. That also is for cold water diving, and if you're going to do a lot of shore diving, you want to wear foot protection. Okay, God forbid you step on a piece of glass or a nail when you go shore diving somewhere and you can ruin the way you walk for the rest of your life. So it's always good to have foot protection. And again, you would wear booty fins if you were diving in cold water as well because you need the warm protection of the booty. And then we have split fins. Split fins are, have the split down the middle and this softens the fin a little. And you also have split fins with holes in them, or what I call vented. Now I'm going to go over these features just right now. What type of fin should I get? A soft fin or a hard fin? Really, this is a personal preference. And color is a personal preference, too. Now I'm an instructor. I want people to see me. And these two are my personal fins. I have two both styles, depending on what type of diving I'm doing. If I'm diving in the winter, I do use the uh, strap fin or open heel as it's called because my boot goes on there right and I can take it off quickly uh, and then for the summertime I have the full foot when I'm diving off of a boat uh, this is a plain Jane fin and probably the cheaper ones that you can get but here's the issues that you want to look for you want to ask yourself do I have ankle knee or lower back issues if you have any of those three, you definitely want a soft fin because if they're harder, that's going to put more stress on those joints, okay? I had a customer who was in a motorcycle accident and he had seven pins in his ankle. So he ended up with a split fin, very similar to like this, but in a full foot pocket because he didn't want to wear the booties and this guy did not want to go cold water diving and he actually needed those type of fins because this one was too uncomfortable for him to wear. Color again is a, a personal preference. Now I'm going to go over this fin which is what I think is the best fin on the market. Okay, This is a vented fin but what makes this fin so unique and you don't see any of the other ones particularly like this is this hinge right here. The holes in it are just like the split. It softens the fin and I have lower back issues. That's why I want a softer fin. However, what makes this fin so hydrodynamic is when I am on my downstroke, okay, this fin hinges, okay, and it whips the water up and down. Whether I'm downstroking or upstroking, and you can see the flexibility in this. Plus, this is a rigid part. They make this fin as a knockoff with softer material, but it's too soft for me. This one gives me power and softness at the same time. They also sell this in a uh, open heel fin, uh, but this is the one I prefer when I do wear the open heel. Again, I pick yellow because I want to be seen underwater. This is my winter fin where I wear booties to keep my, my feet warm. And again, I have holes in it and the split right here to soften it up. Now, this particular fin is made by Scuba Pro, but I'm not touting that particular brand. Uh, and it's made in three different stiffnesses. This is the, probably the most flexible. As you can see, it's just like an otter, just very soft. Um, 
Again, knee, ankle, lower back issues, you want a softer fin. Now, this is a split fin that's pretty rigid, but as you can see, it's also ergonomically designed to help your knees better because it does have the split, it's going to make the fin soft, but it's also good for your ankles too. Uh, and it hydrodynamics the water as you stroke properly with it. This is a high performance, very stiff fin. Okay, I really need to bend this hard to make it go. And as you can see, it's not as flippy as this one. So this is the things that you want to look for in a fin, but you always have to ask yourself, do I have those issues? Now, people do have issues when it comes to diving in a current. Now, the split fins are not the most powerful fin in a current, but you know, in a current, you're not gonna be swimming against it particularly. You should be drift diving with it. And if the boat you're on makes you swim against the current, I would find another dive boat to go out on in the future because you should be drift diving at that point. But you'll learn about all these little nuances about your fin selection, the type of style of diving uh, that you're going to do. And if you have any questions about which fin you should buy with the issues you might have, I'm always open and uh, eager to answer any questions. You can email me at laurapark at yahoo.com or you can visit my website www.privatescubalessons.com or you can call or text me at 954 547 4818. Again, I'm Laura Park, PrivateScubaLessons.com, America's best scuba expert.